the criminal justice system affected you? Well, it's very expensive on the families because when you send money, they take a percentage of your money and then they only give them so much and then they charge them more for phone calls. You know, when phone calls are free, they charge them more in the vending machine. Um, you know, if it's $3 for a swab shampoo that the dollar store sells for a dollar, which you know if the dollar store is sending it for a dollar, it costs less than a dollar. Right. You know, they, 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 so the family has to send more money in because the stuff's more expensive. Mm -hmm. You know, and then the phone calls are more expensive. And then the, when you go to visit and... I'm Mo, I'm Ron. And this is I got something to say. We got we're gonna hit you every Friday with some something, something about this messed up criminal justice system. And hopefully you got something to say. I got something to say. You got something to say. We all got something to say. So let's say it. Let's do it, man. They treat you like you're a criminal just because you're coming to visit someone that did made a mistake in their life. You know, mm -hmm. they don't give them a chance. The prison makes says that it costs so much to house these people but it doesn't cost that much to house these people the the inmates do all the maintenance the inmates do all the painting the inmates do all the cleaning the inmates do all the cooking the inmates have all these jobs and then you got all these companies that source their businesses through the prisons and send the give these guys quarters per hour to weld and upholster and all the different jobs that they have that they making money off of yeah that the prison system is making money off of as the prison has become such a money making industry and the average person who has not had a person in prison doesn't know these things. Mm -hmm. They think they're paying their tax dollars are holding these, paying for these people to be in prison. So they're double dipping. Oh, they're double they're dipping. They're double dipping. They're, they're double charging dipping. the taxpayer and they're charging it. Uh, and they're making they're money. They're making money. They're making money. Right. It's a money making system. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, 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 and uh, then, then you got these companies that will come in there and outsource their work there. But when you get out of prison and go apply for a job there, and I know someone this personally happened to, applied for a job when he knew this, this particular wealthy company's machines inside and out, they would not hire him because he was a felon. Mm -hmm. But he worked for years on all their equipment in the prison. So if your business isn't training these people reforming them and training them to make a livable wage and a job when they get out, their business has no business in the prisons. I'm Mo, I'm Ron, and this is I Got Something to Say. We got, we're gonna hit you every Friday with something, something about this messed up criminal justice system, and hopefully you got something to say. I got something to say, you got something to say, we all got something to say, so let's say it. Let's do it.